Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum and I'm here today at the Rock Island Auction Company uh, on the final day of their ginormous February Sporting and Collectors Auction, like 11,000 guns total. Uh, and a lot of the things that they have in this auction are not pristine, original condition military firearms. They have a lot of sporting guns. And they also have a lot of sporterized guns because a lot of guns have been sporterized and they end up on the collector market. And often those are regrettable, but every once in a while you run into a sporterized rifle that's just remarkably well done. And I came across this one and I thought, you know, it's just really actually rather nicely done. This is an M1 carbine that's been put into a sporter stock. Um, it has a two and three quarter power Redfield scope, which judging by its age, this is at least a few decades old. Uh, so this is not a, a recently done thing. Uh, it is an original GI Winchester carbine that was converted, which is unfortunate. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend anyone do that today. But given that it's already been done, well, it's out there. We might as well appreciate it for what it is. Um, it's got a nice scope mount put on it with a little uh, cartridge deflector here. How well that actually deflects cartridges out to aid in ejection, I don't know. Um, I have to take it out shooting to find out, but just the handling of this thing and the feel, even right-handed for a left-hander like me, it's really cool. It's, it looks nice. It appears to be very nicely put together. All the, the fit on the wood is very good. And it's really cool to occasionally find a sporterized gun like this that's genuinely well done. And um, I would not turn down having something like this in my own collection, and I bet it is super fun to shoot. So, um, just figured I'd uh, show this to you guys as an example of the fact that not all sporterization is always horribly unfortunate. Anyway, uh, that's all I got today. Check out Rock Island's catalog if there's anything left in the auction that you're interested in, or of course, one of their upcoming auctions. And thanks for watching.